Hello guys, what is up? I'm Ghost, and today I'm going to be bringing you part 4 of the jet tutorial. And today we're going to be getting on something a little bit more exciting. We're going to be getting out of all the dogfighting stuff and maneuvers in the air, and on to just owning the hell out of the enemy. So today we're going to be covering air to ground combat. Now the gameplay footage I've got here is all from Rush. Um, it's much better than Conquest for demonstrating air to ground combat, obviously. There's only one enemy jet. Uh, there's no attack helicopter, just only the passenger one. Although in this game, I just didn't realise it while I was in game, but afterwards I checked the server, and then I realised it was a fast vehicle spawn server. So it wasn't any wonder that um, this guy in the jet kept giving me trouble the entire game. You know, it just as soon as the jet went down, it respawned and somebody jumped straight in it. Uh, and that goes for the helicopter as well. But in spite of that, it just meant that I had to clip down the footage a little bit, get rid of some of the dogfighting, and have a little bit more air to ground combat in there. So I hope you guys enjoy this. So I do showcase here both rocket pods and laser guided missiles. Uh, for this part, I go in with the rocket pods, which are my favourite. Uh, I must say, I find them a lot more handy to use than the guided missile, and I'll, I'll go over why I actually think that I use those primarily a little bit later on. Uh, you see, I've just taken this guy down and already he's respawned in the jet. Unbelievable. Anyway, one of the first things I wanted to cover is your angle of attack. So, what I mean by that is when you're swooping down to try and take out a tank, or infantry, or whatever it may be, um, you have to try and get the best angle. Now obviously, if you go as vertically up as possible, and then swoop down, you're not going to have a trouble with any infantry hiding behind walls or anything like that. You know, you're just going to be able to swoop down right directly on top of them and take them out easily. But on the negative side, you're going to get a lot less air time to actually fire at the target than if you're coming in from a slant. So it's really just down to reading the situation and deciding what to do best. Here you see there's a couple of infantry guys. Take one of them out there. But the other one manages to take cover and hide right behind that wall. So we all know that tanks are the weakest from the rear and the top. Uh, now obviously when you're this far away from a tank and you just see a red blob on your screen, you can't really tell which way he's facing. So trying to attack him from the rear rather than the front isn't that easy. But let's say you fly down, you take one pass and you don't kill him. As you get closer to your target, you can see which way he's facing. So when you loop around, try and make it so you can loop around and then be attacking him from the rear when you make your second pass. And then you'll be sure to take him out. When it comes down to killing infantry, I find that the machine guns do a little bit of a better job than the rocket pods. Um, but usually when I'm swooping down, you know, I have my rocket pods selected and I usually like to fire all those off first, whether I'm attacking a tank or whether it's infantry or, you know, whatever it is. Um, and then I simply switch to my machine guns if I have any air time left and use those. When it comes to prioritization of targets, you really want to be taking out the highest threats to you first. So. First of all, you want to be targeting the jets, followed by, you know, the attack helicopter, and then perhaps even the, um, the transport helicopter in rush mode. Uh, then enemy armor, especially if it's the anti-air tank, and then infantry. Uh, also, one other point I haven't mentioned that is uh, you never really want to overcommit to a kill. It's really tempting when you're attacking a ground target to just go for it, you know, and no matter how close you're getting to the ground, you really just want to get that kill. Um, but you need to know when to pull up at the last second. And um, this here is an example of exactly what not to do. Yeah, went for that kill, got a little bit too close there and paid the price for it. So in this stage of the game, I've actually switched to guided missiles now. Um, one of the main points of using guided missiles is to come in from a slant and try and make sure you have ample air time because it does take quite a while to lock on. Now there right there you see the downside to using them. With rocket pods there's no evading it really unless you happen to miss. Whereas with a guided missile it may lock on and be an easy hit but if it's a guy who's using a smoke cloud it's not really going to do a lot of good. Now, to actually take out a target, you also have to spot them. So, being able to spot well in a jet is also very important, especially if your team sucks at it. Now, you might notice, a lot of the time I'm flying around here, I often go in the cockpit view, and 
then I just check out the window there, and whenever I do that, I'm constantly hitting Q, which is, you know, just the default key for spot. I don't know what you guys use, but that's what I use. So I'm constantly, you know, when I'm flying up to gain altitude, using that time to just check out the window by holding down right click, uh, moving the mouse to the side to side, and spotting enemy movement so that you can find targets to take out. Well, that's about wrapping things up for this tutorial. Now oh, that's strange, I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that, but sometimes when you switch to guided missile, it uh, books out quite a bit, and um, the camera's not actually as zoomed in as it's supposed to be. But yeah, as I was saying, that's about it for this tutorial, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the footage, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, then please subscribe, like the video, dislike it, comment. I would be absolutely ecstatic if you did. And I will see you guys on the flip side. Peace out.